What do these images have in common? Watch and learn more. This channel highlights vintage knitting, but there's often a cinematic twist. From the Charisse, as in Sid Charisse, cardigan I wore in the very first episode, to the clapboard which opens every show, movies have played a role in these episodes and in my life in general. Growing up, my birthdays were always celebrated by mother packing as many of my girlfriends into her car as would fit and driving us into Center City, Philadelphia to the big movie palaces to catch a film in VistaVision or Cinemascope. Today, I'd like to continue the celebration by looking at knitting in the movies and sweaters worn by movie stars. Let's begin with Philadelphia's own Grace Kelly, AKA Princess Grace of Monaco. Seen here sailing in 1962, pairing the ever popular Aaron sweater with white pants and sneakers and Monte Carlo in the background. Here are some other Aarons. Steve McQueen in the Thomas Crown Affair, Ryan O'Neill as the Harvard preppy in Love Story, Marilyn Monroe's Aaron is purple, not the traditional ivory color, and most recently Adam Driver. Here's Adam Driver playing Maurizio Gucci opposite Lady Gaga in her cashmere turtleneck in House of Gucci. While at their San Moritz ski chalet, he's sporting an Aaron sweater adorned with diamond trellises, horseshoe cables, ribbing at the neck and sleeves, and a fancy braided Celtic cable up the center. Elvis's sweater isn't exactly what we would call Aaron, but it does have a lot of cables. And then you have Cameron Diaz in one of my favorite movies, The Holiday. Sally Field also isn't wearing an Aaron, but she and her companion in this film are both wearing really cool vintage style sweaters. Another image of Marilyn, this time wearing a cowichan, and Jeff Bridges also in The Big Lebowski with his cowichan. Now I'm going to show you a series of snapshots from various films where the actors are seen knitting in the film. So first we have Haley Lou Richardson in a marvelous movie called Columbus, as in Indiana. She actually crochets a lot in real life. Then we have Gail Patrick in the 1936 film My Man Godfrey. Julie Harris in John Huston's 1967 film Reflections in a Golden Eye, which starred Marlon Brando. Talk of the Town, 1942. Here's Jean Arthur wearing a very pretty sweater with a lace or perhaps a beaded collar. Elizabeth Patterson as Aunt Jenny in the 1933 Story of Temple Drake. Ethel Barrymore is seen knitting as Aunt Jessie in Young at Heart, a 1954 film that starred Doris Day and Frank Sinatra. This is the line that Audrey Hepburn said during this scene. Jose brought up the plans for a new ranch house he's building, and I have the strange feeling that maybe the blueprints and my knitting instructions got switched. This is a still from the French film by René Clément called Gervais of 1956. There was a wedding party that took place in the Louvre Museum. Here you have Roz Russell knitting at a fabulous fashion show in The Women. Handsome Bill Holden watches Nancy Kwan knitting in the 1960 film the world of Susie Wong. Cary Grant played Cole Porter in the biopic Night and Day 
And here he's seen watching Alexis Smith knitting. He himself was knitting in Mr. Lucky. Evidently, a lot of stars also knit in their own spare time, sometimes in between takes. So here you have Tyne Daly, Katherine Hepburn, Joan Crawford, Doris Day, Betty Davis, and most beautiful of all, Elizabeth Taylor. My son Blake is hardly a movie star, but he does own an Aaron sweater. I thought I would just include it here for your viewing pleasure.